We talk a lot about the four rooms and the importance of the four rooms. And we see families all the time where the four rooms are, are not quite in order. There are a lot of different problems you can see, sort of messy rooms. Sometimes you have a loft. There's just one big room and everything happens in, in that one room, particularly in, in early or generations. But one of the, the problems that we see most often is the missing room. The owner room is often the last room to sort of come into focus. And so families may spend a lot of time thinking about their family room and sort of building out that family room and the governance there, but they don't think about differentiating between family and owner conversations. We often see families where the owner room is missing, and this isn't uncommon. This is sort of part of the evolution. It often is the last room to sort of come into focus. So it started out, there were about 12 of them in the room. Today, there are about 28 of them in the room. And so when they would be, you know, when the board would have questions for the owners, what is the direction that we want? And they put some hard questions to that group. That conversation was happening in this room of 28. People had different levels of interest and engagement and knowledge. And there were too many people to have a constructive decision. And you weren't always clear on what the question was that was being asked. And I think this family, it took them a little while to realize was that some of these conversations, as, as much as they want to be really inclusive, they don't fit in the family room. It's They've gotten too big and you know they have too many people for, to effectively use that family room to make some of those owner level decisions. And so they took this opportunity to start building out the owner room. And it was really important to them to think about how do you continue to have a really active, engaged family room so you're not excluding people, but in order to make better decisions for their business, they really needed a group that focused on what are those owner level decisions and let's carve those out from the conversations that currently happen in the family room. So beginning to think about what are the rooms in your house? Do you have the right walls in place? Are you making the right decisions in the right rooms? It's really the first step when you feel like something's a little out of order. Do you have the right rooms in place? Are you missing a room? Have your room's gotten a little messy? Or are you still living in a loft? 